What's up guys? We're gonna be taking a look at a Monster Moto 80 slash 100 model. This is a customer that he brought in and he wanted a totally revamped. Uh, we did flakes on it, but you can't really tell right now. I need to take it out into the sun. It shows a lot better. He wanted a little stabilizer added. Let's take a look at that. Really cool, super simple. Had to cut out a little notch right there to fit it. Still waiting on a custom tank. It's gonna be a custom tank that goes inside here. You can see it on my other bills that I did on a Monster Moto. We'll be using the same kind of tank. Nice bars. Did the little catch can last night. Super easy mount. Hose clamps to the frame. It's sturdy, it's not gonna move anywhere. And then I just split the hoses right in between here. One for the intake. We'll make a little nozzle to pop it onto the intake, and then this one's for the valve cover. Super, super clean, I think. That's the motor. We did a bunch of uh, cam work, pistons, and a uh, rod inside of it already. We're just waiting for a new valve cover to come in, swap that baby out, but everything's pretty much ripping, and waiting for a flywheel to come in. That's the motor for it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a nice little build, I'm not gonna lie. Got the fully adjustable suspension. Well, not fully adjustable, I wish. Got the one adjustable suspension. It goes one way, no adjustability. <laughs> but it's definitely nice. And then the steering damper is gonna help with the high speeds. The adjustable plate. We all know the basics. But yeah, the catch can looks real nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's coming together pretty nice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And then of course we got our 300 uh, CC build over here. Little dragster. I'll get some footage uploaded. Haven't started really doing anything on it besides uh, the fab work on it is pretty much done. The back has the extension. Governor delete cam, arc rod. Just the basics, nothing too crazy. You got the big boy wheel in the front. Yeah, got to post some footage. Got some sprockets here, different sizes. This is for another build that we're doing, side cover arc, rod. But this is this one. We're wrapping it up slowly. You got some nice tires too. Let me show you guys the tires. Right, some engine oil. Always keep this around. Brake in. Let me show you guys these tires. Oh, that out. Tires are pretty nice. They're the new 15 inch tires from Go Power Sports. Definitely got a nice little thread on it. Not too deep for people that like the deep thread. It's more of a kind of like sporty street tire, if you ask me. But uh, should look good. You see. His rims are gonna look absolutely phenomenal. I painted them, I'll show you guys in a, in a second. But it's gonna be a nice little chunky tire there. Beautiful. I think uh, should do decent. We'll see how it grips with all the modifications we did to it. Hopefully we get a little grip. Excuse me. But that's that. Got that. Yeah, those are the rods. This is the handlebar grip. You get a bunch of tool with the oil with the oil catch can. You get a bunch of different nozzles, so you can check out the nozzles. But yeah, you guys already know how your adjustable plate works, up and down, side to side. Really, really cool. I'll get another video posted once I get that engine back mounted, and uh, he's getting a custom seat for it. So I'll keep you guys updated on this build. Definitely something to look forward to. And if anybody has any questions, just let me know. A lot of people were saying you lose total steering with a dampener, but that is so not true. We lost maybe 5%, 10%. Because if you check on the bumps, it's, it's pretty much hitting the bumps with the steering dampener installed. So there's no hindrance to the steering at all. Total BS.